Hello, June back again. Today I have this mini album to show you. I love these papers. Um, I've made this for a very dear friend who uh, was celebrating her 70th birthday. Now, I've made quite a few albums in the past and I've used the um, chipboard. I've also made them with envelopes and um, paper bags. But this one is made using card. And the size of this is um, using 5 by 7 card. The cover is half an inch bigger. So we're talking seven and a half inches by five and a half. And that's just made out of ordinary cardstock. Excuse me. <coughs> and it's an easy album to make. I saw um, Dawn and she's, um, her channel is called Dawn's Creations. Um, she has a video how she made this and um, you can adapt the size obviously if you're using cardstock where this is five by seven you could do a square card a square album sorry um, just by adjusting the sizes uh, for the inside so th this paper is uh, textured and I used that from the Mulberry Kisses paper pad. This is an 8x8 paper pad. And I don't have many left actually, but the papers are beautiful. So I printed that uh, sentiment. You never know when you're making a memory. I think um, that's a lovely sentiment. And then we've got some leaves, some roses, which I've just coloured the edges with. And this lovely little frame, butterflies. There's um, a lady whose blog is, um, she owns the challenge blog, Moving Along With The Times. And she sent me these beautiful butterflies. Uh, they're lovely. I put some lace down the side this little pocket dear come out um, I've stamped with a little love on there and the die for this pocket is from in love art the online shop they uh, do come from China but this particular company the postage is excellent. You really don't have long to wait to receive your goods. And then I've just put some little charms here. This is another um, dangly charm. I love dangles. Uh, Wendy also sent me um, a few of these. And then we have a flower and a heart. And um, this little tag the heart that loves is always young I think that's gorgeous and you can hear this got it's got some texture to it so inside I've still got a few more things to add to it but I've distressed the edges there it's the same theme the same design all the way through so I've just put a little message uh, type that and then use the die to die cut it and emboss it and then distress the edges so each page is like this and I've put um, a photo mat in each page but I'm going to back it with maybe a, a pale pink or a white um, an ivory card so they can either have photos on both sides it's a four by six that's like that i may might as well put um a little gem in the middle of each side pocket 
Oh, and these papers are not from Mulberry Kiss Kisses. This is from um, Birdsong, which is first edition paper. And obviously these are 12 by 12 papers. I think I got this from the range. It's, the papers are lovely, really lovely. So carrying on. So you see it's the same, and that closes, you're looking at the same papers. And in this one, I did, if I could get this out, I can't get that one out, um, like a little booklet, and I can, she can write anything in there, or put some little photos, or keepsake, um, because I know she's had maybe about a week celebrating this birthday, so. And then, I thought, I'll bring the ribbons right through and just have them hanging like that. I like that. The papers are lovely. They're so pretty. And then this was from uh, my stash. And then I made this cute little envelope and Jen can leave it as it is or I don't know if she's got any receipts from a birthday celebration she can pop that in there and there you are I will be um, doing a tutorial um, on how I made this so until the next time thank you for joining me today happy crafting take care bye